I actually uh, made a mistake in the recording, so I had to redo it. So welcome everyone to another Monday morning. Um, so let's see what we can change today. Let's see what we can, where we can be different today, what energies we can shift today. But for everyone on this call, um, if you're on Instagram, I'll be leading your comments. Um, if you're on Zoom, you can unmute yourself and ask any questions. But if you're on video, um, <clears throat> you will be recorded. These calls go on YouTube Live. So if you're on video or if you're talking, it's kind of consent for you to uh, get recorded, uh, for you to be seen. So if you do not want to be seen, please keep your videos off or um, you know, do not talk. You can always type. I will read the chats in both Zoom and in Instagram, but I will not be reading anything on Facebook. Facebook Live, I'll be tackling after the call. So if you're on Facebook, uh, you can just hear me and... But mostly whatever you hear also uh, will work for you. Because if you have any questions, I might answer them whether you ask them or not. So everything that brought up in that down will you destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine thoughts, boys, boys, and beyond. Okay, so what would you guys like to change today? What <clears throat> Would you like to create something beyond anything you can imagine? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine thoughts, boys, and beyond. Would you like to uh, create things you know, would you like to have such ease with your body? No more disease? Yes. Yeah, right, wrong, good, bad, yeah. body, all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyonds. But to create that, do we have a foundation right? Do you have the basics in place? Because if you want to create something magical and something amazing, what is the basic, what's the base for that? The base would be uh, to stop judging yourself, to let go of all judgments. Have you, have, has everyone let go of all judgments of self? So everything that brought up in their tongue, you just try and create it. Right, wrong, good, yeah. bad, 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 all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. So really your thinking, your point of view creates your reality. So if you have a point of view that becomes, um, that becomes what you're going to create and whatever is happening today, in your life is because you had some point of view about it or you bought a point of view or you're living a point of view. So it's all the points of view that you're holding on to um, that is actualizing your life this way. So what if you had no point of view, then you could create anything you desire. And desire is different from judgment or point of view. If you are clear about what you want, that is a desire. That's you know something that excites you. That's something you would like to create. That's not a judgment. Uh, but when you put in any judgment into how will I create this? Will I truly be able to create this? Is this something that I would, um, that I am good enough to create? When you put a lot of judgment into the process of how, how you can create something or how you can get something, that's when, that is when things go for a toss. So everything that brought up and let down will you destroy and create it. Right, wrong, yes. all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. So what if the base of everything is to, Get to a space where you don't judge yourself, where you don't judge your body. Isn't your body being kind to you? Isn't your body listening to everything you say? Isn't your body... Your body is your best friend, right? Nothing is as kind to you as your body. So everything that brought up and let down, you destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots, boys, boys. Okay, I've muted everyone. Uh, just because there's some noise. Just in case you want to talk or you have anything to say. Uh, please do unmute yourself. Hi, Krishna. Good morning. Nice to see you. So how does it get better? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots, boys, boys, and girls. So everywhere you're not treating your body as your best friend, but you're destroying and creating. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. So this is something funny. I was doing this class and then this person was like, my friend um, uh, judges me. My friend stole this from me. And another person is my friend did this to me. And I was like, my God, you guys have to change the definition of friends. Those are not friends. Those are literally not friends. If they are, um, you know, jealous of you or stealing things from you, are they truly your friends? So what have you defined as friendship? Everything that is with you destroy and create. Right, wrong, bad, 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 bad. I have no idea why I'm talking about that uh, here. But um, it just came up. So I hope it contributes to someone. So are you looking for that friend who can take care of you or be there for you or, um, you know, kind of give you that security? 
but if you if you are not your own friend and if you don't acknowledge the body that's your your own body that's your friend then you're not going to get it from anywhere else so everything that brought up and let down will you destroy it and create right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond okay so everywhere you're not acknowledging your body will you destroy it and create it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds everywhere you're being unkind to your body will you destroy it and create it right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds and i'm just trying to look you know look at two devices and it's kind of funny to look at myself in two devices but how much fun can i have with that right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds <clears throat> so everywhere i'm not acknowledging my body for the gift that it is i now destroy it and create it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds and what invention am i using to create disease in my body everything that is i now destroy and create it right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds so what if the foundation to create a magical light is to acknowledge you are the magic only if you be something you can attract something and if you are the magic if you truly are the magic then would you judge yourself would you feel bad about something would you get angry about something would you get triggered by anything so everything that brought up and let down will you not destroy and create it right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond hi nitya good morning Hi Preeti, good morning. How are you? Good, Nitya. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Happy, happy to see you. Now the week is gonna go fantastic. How does it get better? How does it get better than that? So, what would it be like for you to be kind to yourself and everything that does not allow you to know, be perceived, and receive that? Will you now destroy and create? Right, wrong, good, bad. What, what, all nine shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. all the presumptive realities that you're using to be unkind to your body and create disease in your body will you destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds all the need of reactive realities to judge your body that you're functioning from will you destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyonds all the need for reactive realities that you're using to judge your body will you now destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond so how does it get better right wrong good bad what pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond okay krishna says she loves the lavender on me thank you so much hi goshi thanks for joining and sonal so many people so what invention are you using to judge yourself everything that is will you now destroy and create right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond i was feeling a little weird today so feeling so everything that brought up in letter right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond all the oaths vows swearing stalies commalities bindings bonding blood oaths contracts commitments that you've taken to be extremely unkind to yourself from this lifetime and across lifetimes will you revoke recant renounce denounce reclaim resign destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond uh yes ankita what is your question nitya i have written like uh, what are the presumptive reality or i have need to judge my financial reality and i wonder it is mine or someone else also so clear it on this is definitely not mine still i would like to you know clear the all the pre presumed reality with it and go ahead and clear it right wrong good bad what pop all nine shots boys boys and girls if you know what to do just run the clearing so how does it get better so you're judging your financial reality again if you don't if you judge yourself if you don't believe that you can create your own money if you don't believe that you're so abundant that you can get what you desire so everything that brought up and let down will you not destroy and create it. right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond so all the presumptive realities and the need for reactive realities that you have with money will you now destroy and create it right wrong good bad pot pop all nine shots boys forwards and beyond okay so um what reality beyond this reality would you like to create now non judgment itself 
is a reality beyond this reality. You don't have to have anything more. What if you can start there? What if you can start by being interesting point of view about anything and everything? What if you can start by being extremely kind to you and your body? What if every judgment you make destroys your life, destroys your body, and also will reduce your money flows? So would you stop the judgment? And everything is equally costly, whether you judge yourself, whether you judge others, whether you uh, hate someone, whether you do not like what they do, but every judgment has a cost on your body. So everything that brought up and let down when you're destroying and created right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Similarly, if you can receive a judgment, you get more money. So we cannot stop other people from judging us. They're going to do that. Uh, we cannot, but what if you can let go of your need for validation from others? What if you can let go of your need to please others? What if you can let go of being bothered by what the other person thinks of me? That is in your control. You can't control what they think of you and um, whether they like you, but, but what if it doesn't really matter whether someone likes you or not? What if it doesn't matter whether someone praises you or not? What if it doesn't matter if someone even doesn't like you or says bad things about you? Because you like yourself and you are there for yourself. So everything that brought up and let down when you're now destroying and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Where are you not being there for yourself and your body? Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, call, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Where are you not being there for yourself and your body? Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, call, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Where are you not being there for your body? Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Okay, any questions? Do you guys like judging yourself? Do you feel good when you judge yourself? Do you feel like now I'm alive, now I have this going on, that going on, so I can actually prove that I'm alive? Or life is supposed to be like this. Life is supposed to be so tense and so anxious and otherwise I'm not doing anything and I have to get more... Uh, Anxious if I don't do anything. So everything that brought up and let down will be destroyed and created. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. So what value do you see not doing something and yet beating yourself for not doing it? Everything that is will you destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. What value do you see in not doing something and yet beating yourself up for not doing something? Everything that is will you destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. Do you guys have any other questions? Anything else anyone wants to ask or share? No, we're all good. How does it get better? So will you guys stop judging yourselves? Will you? And don't judge yourself for judging yourself. If you do judge yourself, don't feel bad for it. Uh, keep getting into the space of what can I be to stop judging myself, right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bog, all nine shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. So all the oaths, vows, swearing, salaries, formalities, bindings, bonding, commitments, blood oaths, contracts that you've taken to judge yourself, will you now destroy and create it, right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bog, all nine shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. All the oaths, vows, swearings, penalties, commodities, bindings, bondings, blood oaths, commitments, contracts that you've taken to judge yourself. Will you revoke, recant, renounce, renounce, reclaim, resign, destroy, and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. By the way, guys, I have amazing foundation classes coming up in um, in the next, in by April and May in Bangalore and Mumbai and Delhi. So if anyone of you is interested, to join the foundation class, just let me know and let me know which city. I'll be conducting classes in all of these cities, starting with Bangalore. Uh, on Bangalore starts by April 6th itself. It's the most amazing class with presumptive realities and need for reactive realities. A lot in the foundation has changed. So we have new, new clearings. Uh, the new manual is not yet there, but we have a lot of new clearings and there are new body processes, which uh, you might have never, which you might have not encountered before or only available in the foundation. So amazing stuff is there. And um, yeah, and the foundation is 3.5 days, changes everything in your life. 
So if you're willing to take that leap and the amount of change you get will be much more than what you pay. So everything that brought up in that dog, and you just try and create it right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, call, nine shots, voice, voice, voice. Hi, Pooja. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi, Nitya. Hello. So if you're interested in doing foundation in any of these places, please get in touch with me. You can, um, uh, all the dates. So I'm traveling and doing a lot of classes. I'm also doing a talk to the entities classes coming up in May. So if any of you is interested to join that, do get in touch with me. And even if you've already done these classes, uh, when you do it again, it's it's very different. And when you do it with a different facilitator, it, it is, it's different. And with the new processes, a lot has changed with this global foundation, with all the new processes that are showing up. You will just see how, how you can set yourself free. Isn't that what you would like in the end? So everywhere you've decided yeah. you're trapped, will you just try and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, boys, and yours. And again, foundation is an amazing gift that you should give your kids. Uh, and if any of you have repeat price, please do it. Do not allow your repeat price to go expired. It's my suggestion because then you start, then you have to pay full price again. So just look at it and see, uh, see if that energy calls you, see what the class can give to you. So everything that brought up in letter, will you now just join and create it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys, four words, and beyond. Thank you so much, Nita. <laughs> Thank you. Nita said, we love to listen to you. The energy stays. And how did I get so lucky? So many people actually listen to me. So everything that brought up and let down, I'll destroy and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, who words, and beyond. Because um, many people don't listen. They just, by the time you're talking, they're talking something else. You say something and they're already, you know, it's two conversations. They're not actually in conversation with you. They're not listening to you. They're just talking. Uh, they just you, you say something and they just say something out of the blue, which is not even connected to what you're saying. So it is really, um, I think I'm really lucky if people do listen to me, how does it get better? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shots, boys, boys. Hi, Keith. So nice to see you. Hi, Sam. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So how does it get better? We were just talking about uh, letting go of judgment, the foundation to creating magic miracles, and a life beyond anything is to let go of self-judgment. Because when this judgment just doesn't allow, doesn't allow the magic to show up. So everything that brought up and let down, when you destroy and uncreate it, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, persons. Hi, Kalpna. How are you doing? I hope you're much better. Awesome. So nice. So the basis of our life is not supposed to be judgment even though that's what we've bought from this reality we feel it's so natural to have an opinion about everything and it's not just an opinion it's a solid judgment and hey, sorry and what the judgment does is it kind of stops anything from showing up anything greater from showing up and what if you can be there for yourself what if it starts with that how much are you there for yourself are you truly there for yourself are you secure with yourself so everything that brought up and let down, will you now destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, boys, and nerds. What if whatever you do, you learn not to judge yourself? Whatever goes right, you don't judge yourself. Whatever goes wrong, you don't judge yourself. And what if you can be happy and grateful for everything in life just because you're breathing and alive, just because your body is so magical and keeping you alive? So everything that brought up and let down, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys, poets and nerds. Would you guys like to get to that space where you don't judge yourself or your body or anyone else? Isn't that a different level of freedom when you don't have to be controlled by anyone's judgment? When you don't have to bother about anything? Would you like that sense of freedom? Would you like that sense of space? So everywhere you've been in that space and you've decided that's not you and you don't like it and you've come back to this reality where you're destroying and create Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. And, and it's, it's, it is such an amazing journey to get there. And, then, and getting there is not the issue, but what if you keep staying there? And as you stay there, you know, you sense more of people's judgments. It's like you sense more judgments and then it becomes harder. So you have to use even more tools. You have to be even more present. So everything that brought up and let down, will you now destroy and uncreate it? 
right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, call nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. So, what do you love about being unkind to yourself? Everything that is, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, poor, poor, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Everywhere you've decided you're a failure, and everywhere you would like to beat yourself up, will you revoke, recant, renounce, renounce, reclaim? Resign, destroy, and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all the insurance, boys, poets, and men. A lot of people, um, they just act the tool. They're like, I'm interesting point of view. I don't have a point of view. I'm like, I'm cool because I shouldn't feel bad when someone says, so I don't feel bad. But are you truly being that energy? But actually, they would feel bad. Actually, they would just say, I'm interesting point of view, not be interesting point of view. So everywhere you're acting like you're beyond judgment when you're not, will you destroy and uncreate Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. And it's okay to judge. It's not a wrongness. It's just not your best choice. So what if you can acknowledge, okay, I, I slipped here. I made a judgment. How do I get out of this? And don't be hard on yourself. What if you can be the kindest person to yourself? What if you can truly be there for yourself? Have your own back. Like yourself. Acknowledge who you are. Thank your body for what it's giving you and how much you, you can't move without your body. You can't have this much pleasure without your body. You can't eat without your body. You can't talk without your body. So how amazing is your body for you? And how does it feel when, you know, you should, you should go to those days when you, when you have back pain or leg pain or something happening in your body. And then there are times when you don't have any pain. Isn't that the biggest miracle? Like when you wake up with an amazing body and the body is feeling so good and alive. It's feeling so light. Isn't that one of the biggest joys that you have. So would you thank your body for what it's giving you and would you work on your body for it to become lighter? So everything that is not allow you to know, be perceived and receive that, would you destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, poor, poor, call, nine shots, boys, poor, as another. And I mean lighter, I'm saying like to have so much ease with your body. I'm not talking about your weight or not saying anyone's overweight. It's just like, would you like that amount of ease with your body? So everything that is not allow you to know, be perceived and receive that, will you now destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Because it does feel great, uh, you know, when your body is in great health, it does feel amazing. When you can walk how much ever you want, when you have so much energy to move, when you have, when you can be there for yourself, can you carry your, your own stuff? Can you do that? What if you can acknowledge that, yeah, I'm still able to do things for myself. What if it's not a wrongness? What if, being there for yourself is a gift and it's not like, it's not that no one is there for me. I have to do everything myself. So everything that brought up and let down will you destroy and create. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys, poets and beyonds. And it's a very thin line. When you get into no one is there for me, um, you can't be there for yourself and you just see how you create. Like no one will support you. But when you're like, see, I'm there for me. I'm going to sort this. I'm going to handle this. What else is possible? I'm going to be there for me, whether anyone is there or not. Then you just allow others to also come and be there for you. You allow the whole universe to be there for you. And, and it truly works that way. Like I've seen it so many times when you get into there's no one there for me. Um, even if there are 100 people around you, no one will be helping you. So that's how strong your point of view is. How, that's how your point of view creates your reality. What if you can just see hey, the wind is there for me or Someone is there for me and I'm there for myself. And if you're not there for yourself, if you don't have that kind of foundation proper, um, others will not be there for you. Not because they don't want to or not because they can't. It's just because you don't, you won't allow it. So everything that brought up and let down for you, will you now destroy and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, boys, and girls. Who have you decided will save you and get you out of what you've decided you cannot get out of? Everything that is, will you destroy and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and nuns. So what would it be like for you to truly, truly acknowledge your body for the gift and the miracle that is and to stop judging your body once and for all and everything that does not allow you to know, be perceived and receive that will you destroy and uncreate? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, go back, beyonds. Okay, any questions, guys? Anything else anyone wants to ask? No questions? Okay. How does it get better? Let me just check quickly if anyone has anything on the chat. 
No, no questions. So would you guys like to be there for yourself? Yes, someone unmuted. Yes, Sahil. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Sushil. See, uh, you, your talk is so powerful, and uh, I feel that yes, I'm flowing into it. I'm flowing in that energy. Yes. So it's really uh, very nice. I just want to know one thing that uh, yes, when you are just caught up in the circumstances, is it merely this? Uh, uh, I mean, clearings, or uh, you have to take a massive action plan also. Um, you can start with clearings because. Uh -huh. Clearing will get you into the energy of how you change the circumstance. And Correct. then sometimes you have to take action, sometimes you don't have to. So you can ask, what action can I take here to change this? Right, wrong, all right. All nine shots, voice, voice, and so sometimes you just have to be the energy and everything dissipates. So you don't have to do much. And sometimes I it's understand. like you have to. So it, it's completely depending on the situation. So what action can I take here? Right, wrong, with that, Wonder not all nine shots, voice, voice, and Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Sometimes it's just so easy, like there's a fight happening and then you go and everyone stops because you're being the energy of something else. And sometimes you have to go and they're fighting and you say, hey, people, stop. Can you stop this? Uh, this mm -hmm. won't. So you have allowance does not mean you'll not put your foot down. Allowance does not mean you'll not say no. It just means okay. that you're not triggered. You're not reacting, but, you're, you, but you know you're giving your best response. But this body being a carrier, you know, in the total entire excess, what I find is that except uh, the excess bar run or other uh, excess exercises, I mean, uh, see, this body being a carrier, we need to talk about nutritional food. We need to talk about a lot of exercise planning for keeping this body perfect. I mean, uh, I fully understand uh, vibrating body is all right. But uh, do you suggest, if, yes, there has to be a a body monitoring system with you yourself? Uh, very amazing question. So, so let's not, um, what access says is listen to your body. It doesn't say like food, nutrition, don't, don't do food or you can eat whatever you want. It says, are you, do you have that amazing relationship with your body? Are you listening to your body? So if you're listening to your body, that is a body monitoring system by itself everything your body is telling you okay don't eat this i'm thirsty drink water now don't go here so it is it is a way uh, it's a conversation with your body so you have a conversation with your body ask your body what would it like would it like exercise would it like what diet would it like what would it like to eat when and follow that because every body is different so listen to your body is what they say it's not about no, but i tell you as a gravitational force everybody wants to be in a absolutely comfortable zone it's called a comfort zone mm -hmm. and your body is happy and you are happy but then you have to go beyond it you know to make it much more uh, vibrating much more energetic much more wonderful so when you ask your body you will say okay fine uh, i'll go to gym tomorrow no but, no. Um, no no uh, who are okay. you asking who are you listening to right wrong good bad pop, pop, all right. maybe you're asking your body but your body will not say it's fine we'll go tomorrow that's something else or who's lazy the body is not lazy the body loves movement okay yeah body loves movement correct yeah so the body is that not is lazy. prime function prime function so who is saying that we don't want we will go tomorrow right well our, our belief system or our negativities yes, yes and maybe your body doesn't want to go to the gym but it would like some sort of movement some sort of exercise and um because i've started uh, walking a lot and i really uh, understand how much my body is enjoying the movement so i've, I've mm -hmm. when i started doing that for a few days now i know when my body wants to walk my body is like you haven't walked today let's let's walk i would like to move let's go up and down mm -hmm. so truly listen to your body uh, all the presumptive realities and need for reactive realities where you've decided this is how your body will answer to you will you destroy and uncreate it right wrong good bad possible. and one more thing that our our body and sometimes our mind only work with a pre-wired uh, i mean neural system in the brain you know. because the response will be the same uh, we do the clearing is fine but the, my point is that, uh, uh, I mean, during the clearing, uh, as you rightly said, that we keep on changing our uh, pre-wired brain system and make a new pathways. Yes. If you do okay. the clearing with presence and enough times, it can change. It will clear the pathways. And, okay. Uh, yeah. You just have to do it with presence. If you do it for the sake of doing it, then you might have to do it godzillion times, may not change. 
But if you Correct. go like, what can I be to change this with that presence? It will work. Right, wrong. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. It's always been very nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. So what if you can Goodbye. acknowledge your body? And every way you're not truly listening to your body, even though you've decided you have, will you destroy them clearly? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, comment, shots, boys, boys, and beyonds. And all the override systems that you have that override what your body is telling you, will you not destroy and create? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyonds. So have that conversation in your body, figure out what works, uh, does it, what movement your body would like, what food your body would like. And, and also you can trial and experiment. If, if there's some food you're eating and you're gaining weight, of course you should change it. You don't have to like, my body didn't tell me, my body is not telling me properly. Uh, and don't presume, like, you go and say, I would like to eat this. You're already, like, looking at it. I would like to eat this. And you're drooling. And off, obviously, your body is not going to say no. Your body is such a kind thing to you. It's not like, stop it. I don't like it. I'm, I'll hit you if you don't know it. It'll say no, subtly. But if you ignore it, and I really want to have it, it's not going to say no. It's, it's going to allow you. It has so much allowance for you. It has allowance for you to, to do whatever you want, right? And, and however tired your body is, if you have to get up and do a call, your body does come with you. It's not going to say, I won't get up. I don't want to get up. It says, I don't want to get up. I would like to rest. But then you're like, I have to do the call. Get up. It's not going to fight against you. It's so much an allowance of you. So if you can acknowledge that and treat it with that much honor, of what it's giving to you, then you would truly know what your body is asking and how to change your body. Right, wrong, good, bad, what, what, all nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. Okay, Sheetal is saying, what if you feel disrespected? Darling, you have to respect yourself. Be there for yourself. No one can disrespect you except yourself. When you lack respect for yourself is when you feel disrespected. So what if you can learn to be there for yourself? And that's what I've been talking about today. What if you can be there for yourself? What if you don't have to judge yourself or disrespect yourself or do anything? Right, wrong, but bad, pop, pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. And what would it be like for your allowance to always be greater than your awareness? And everything that does not allow you to know, be perceive, and receive that, will you now destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. And Krishna is asking, is there a clearing for picking up energies from others? Who does it belong to? Who does it belong to? Amazing tool. And whoever I've picked up from whatever, I've picked up from whoever, I now let it go. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Okay. So use who does it belong to like and, crazy? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I just want to uh, ask one more question. Like, uh, you know, when you uh, sometimes I sit in the morning and I like to uh, share my, uh, you know, energy exchange with the universe or gain energy from the universe, you know. And those five, ten minutes are so, uh, so amazing and so wonderful that I feel that uh, I am getting a total connect with every part and particle of the universe. And energy is flowing through me and I am uh, just part of that energy only. Yes. So, so uh, this uh, exchange is always uh, you know, is, is awesome and wonderful. What do you suggest? Yeah, whatever makes you feel lighter, do it. If you have that okay. communion, what would it be like for me to have a communion with my body and the universe and everything that does not allow you to be perceived and received? Will you just try it? Right, wrong, yeah. good, bad, not all nine shots, boys, boys, boys. And what if you can have that all the time, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Correct. Thank you. Right, wrong, good. Welcome. Yes, Anjita, what's your question? So, Nitya, the way we can, you know, uh, the minute we think about the past, we can recreate it. What, uh, wonder what will it take us to re recreate the things which were quite pleasant in the past? So, what if you can uh, upgrade that and make it even more pleasant? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shots. Yeah, this is right. <laughs> yeah, why? Why do you? Why do you want to have the uh, same day uh, as an infinite being? Wouldn't you like an adventure? So, what if I can create something even better? Right, wrong, good, bad. How does it get better? How does it get better? It's very simple. I just have to always function from how does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? If you be that energy all the time, you will create much better than what you've had in better ways and may not be the same as what you had in the past. So it's more fun. So everything that brought up in letter, will you destroy and create? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Okay. Yeah. How awesome is that? Thank you for that question. Um, okay. So I think we're going to uh, wrap up. I, I will take a couple more questions if anyone has questions. Otherwise, 
quickly um yeah someone is saying mosquitoes only bite me no one else in the family are you really sweet right wrong good bad pot of all nine jobs boys person are you tasty so maybe you're very tasty to the mosquitoes <laughs> Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, boys, you know. So mosquitoes also know like who's tasty, who's good. Anyway, just joking. So what would it be like for me to sleep with ease? Everything that is not allowed, that will you now destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, boys, and nuns. What do I love about not sleeping? What do I love about being disturbed in my sleep? And everywhere I've decided I'm not doing something. And I would like to beat myself for not doing. Will you now just try and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Because most sleep problems, whether it's a mosquito waking you up or your kids, if you have children, you know how children will always wake you up when you sleep. The perfect moment when you sleep, how they wake you up. Or whether it's, you know, you're like, I want to sleep. And then your mate comes and rings the bell. All sorts of disturbances in sleep. Um, not all, most of them. Uh, when you feel I'm not doing enough and I can't rest because I have to do something. I lose something if I sleep. So everything that brought up and let down will you now destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. And no one does feel good when they <laughs> judge others. So everything that brought up and let down will you now destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. Resham is asking, can we reverse damage of heart, brain, and body? Um. I don't, I don't know whether you're asking physical damage or energetic damage. Um, if it's a heartbreak, definitely. And even heart disease can be corrected. So we can, we can work on it. Please ping me separately um, on Instagram or on WhatsApp. And then we can talk more because I, I need to understand more what you're asking. You're welcome, Radha. And Nitya, yes. people who sleeps a lot, so is that uh, they are uh, least bother about the life they are living <laughs> i don't know are you trying to presume something about someone no 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 i'm just asking because the minute you give the clearing for people who are not sleeping sound sleep especially so on that note i have asked the question um you can't say because sometimes some bodies require a lot of sleep uh, some bodies you know just uh, if they sleep even two hours they're good so can't really say and kids like uh, love to be awake being awake energizes them movement energizes them more than sleep some people sleep energizes them so completely depends on your body but in general if you're getting good rest like when you sleep you wake up refreshed that's awesome that, that's what you should have said. thank you Nikola. thank you and that's the thing no? every body is different every person is different so we don't have to define like uh, this is fine or will this work or you know things like that Okay. Okay, with so much energy, uh, how, how many hours uh, one can, uh, I mean, uh, sleep in the minimum time and take full rest? Like four hours, five hours, or six hours? Because this energy makes already makes you so light and you, may, you are already there in a dress. You know? no, uh, 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 are you asking me how much time I sleep or are you asking how much time you should sleep? What are you asking? No, I'm asking one ideally uh, with a uh, lot of uh, already rest during, uh, you know, thriving energy. So uh, you sometimes you don't find any need to sleep also. Yeah, yeah. You just find, okay, uh, I'm enjoying my You're consciousness. You're enjoying so much that you don't want to sleep, yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, just listen to your body. Listen to your body. Okay. And, and if you're not sleeping continuously, are you being kind to your body? Right, wrong, good, bad, what? So tell your body, like, I'm enjoying... Just give me a message when you would like to sleep. How much you would like to rest. Correct, correct. Yeah, right, wrong. Very good. great. Thank you. Thank you. Because sleep does help the body a lot. It does refresh the body. And um, don't tire yourself. I mean, just it's it's your body. So ask your body. like, uh, Body, tell me when you would like to sleep. Uh, in general, it's really good to sleep early because uh, it does work with the body. But anyway, every body is different. And you ask your body. And then if you're not sleeping well, that's one of the basic foundation things to fix. So I do have some call about sleep in Morningstar. Some date you can uh, you can ask your awareness and figure it out and listen to that. So everything that brought up in life, will you destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shots, boys, boys, and yours. So uh, I do have foundation classes I'm repeating in coming up in Bangalore, Mumbai, and Delhi. 
please do get in touch with me if you'd like to join in any of these wonderful cities. And um, I'm also going to do a part of a shamanic retreat in Delhi. Uh, I'll let you guys know. And uh, more shamanic classes showing up in April. I'm also doing a talk to the entities in Indore. That is, that's also coming up uh, around May. So if you're interested in any of these classes, please do get in touch with get in touch with me. You have my number. Just message me or uh, you, or you know Instagram or whatever works for you. So lots of classes coming up. And that's not a class, Radhika in Delhi. It's just a retreat. It's just one night of stuff. You. It's not about fully learning. It's just an experience of you know what it can give you. So how does it get better? And on that note, I think we're done with today's call. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Some people have joined right now. <laughs> thank you for joining anyway. For everyone who's joined right now, maybe I'll just do one more clearing. Um, so everywhere you're beating yourself for not doing something which you really wanted to do and which you've decided that you're not doing, will you now destroy and upgrade it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, all nine shots, boys, boys, and girls. What if you're being that? What if you're being that you'll be shown how to do it? Are you truly trying to do something without being that? And what if you be, it will show up in ways better than you can imagine. And that's easy to create by being rather than doing and doing and something doesn't work. It's, it's much, much easier. It's more fun. So what are you refusing to be to create the life that you truly desire? Everything that is, will you now destroy and upgrade? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shots, boys, provides and beyonds. Okay, guys, on that note, I will catch you guys next Monday or if we meet before that anytime. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.